Well, I mean, she was wearing a white mage robe before. She just was like, Oh, Marcus, you tried. She was all like, Look at me! I'm a living homage! And then it was never seen again. See, like, on the one hand, yeah, sure, it's good for flexibility, and, um, you know, not snagging on things, but on the other hand, if you're trying to go incognito, and your first thought is, wear something bright orange that, break, that shows off your butt. <laughs> no one will look at me, I'm far too tacky! Unfortunately, she then met Zidane, who was dressed like David Bowie. Let's face it, the two were destined to fall in love. learned a thing. Undead killer. So now let's teach you man heater. Also save. He's underage, he's David Bowie, all we need is a kidnapped baby and we can put on our own Final Fantasy IX Labyrinth. See, now I just want to sing about Garnet's choice outfits. Let's give it a little bit more intro. I travel the world with this rusty night of flute. My ass looks hella perky in this spandex bodysuit. I'd have giant hair that's almost as fluffy as my sleeves. Also weird in the company of thieves. Thank you, I'll be here till Thursday. Try the veal. Anyway. Thanks, Ziggy. Yay, 
way people learn stuff. Time to swap equipment. And save. Why have I not put the ability up ability on guard? Oh my gosh. Jelly Insomniac Chemist. Insomniac sounds like a good guy. That should make things easier. Gonna smack some birdie booty. Or not. <laughs> well, Garnick, you got a gold star for trying. There you go. Garnet just learned another thing, so guess what we're all gonna do? Nothing because it was something that... Not because we're out of other things to learn from. Okay! Marcus is finally strong enough to knock over a bug. Oh, Ziggy said no. You have a good one, okay? Oh, Fen's going too. Well, you guys have fun. Meanwhile, let's see what else we can kill. For money and experience. <laughs> I like how when Steiner dodges an attack, he just turns slightly sideways. Just like straight up swivel. Like, we know that, you know, when Ziggy, or not Ziggy, when Vivi dodges, he, like, you know, does this little pinwheeling arm thing and half almost falls over, but no. Steiner is just like, wow. So, now that we've got stuff from the gold choker, give him the power belt, equip him with awesome abilities. So, this next one he's going to want Bird Killer. Auto Potion. Counter. Meanwhile, she's going to want. Well, she's got Chemist Ability of Insomniac and Jelly. That'll do her well. Okay! Rest for the night, so that we can replenish our hit points and magic the points. Okay. Da -da 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 -da. Oh, right. We'll probably want to buy a bunch of high potions. 
Eh, they don't have high potions. Also, equip Steiner with the blood sword. <laughs> All right, now let's see if we can't put a Griffin in its place. Let's fight the griffin. Pansy will fight the griffin. Yeah. Ah! <laughs> rah! Hey, rah. Wait, what? Yeah, fuck that. Um, let's... doing that again. Because that was... <laughs> that was bullcrap. Let's try that again. I like how that time Steiner, Steiner looked almost resigned. Or at least that's how I'm interpreting it. So, now that we've put him in armor that uh, has wind damage, maybe that'll uh, make him die less. Also, that will really help. Oh, also he out of potions. This is going to be interesting. Wow, I can't believe it. Here's your prize. A Tonberry card. That's it? I did that all for a f Save. 